Hi, I'm Brendan McLaughlin, so this is my documentary, so I'll be talking about D.B. Cooper. So basically, in 1971, a mysterious man named by D.B. Cooper went on a plane. He was wearing a black tuxedo kind of suit, and he was wearing a black tie. He got the plane pretty normal, he got a drink and stuff like that, and then during the flight, about halfway through, he uh, gave the stewardess a note. The stewardess didn't immediately check it, but he told the stewardess to check it. On the note, it said that he had a bomb, and that if he did get 60 million pounds and two parachutes, by the time the plane landed, that he would blow it up. So basically, the stewardess told the pilot, the pilot rang uh, the uh, Air Force and stuff like that, and a coordinated effort by a bunch of the law enforcement, over two hours, was able to get him the power, two parachutes and 60 million pounds. A way to try to get him, they basically rigged one of the parachutes to, for it to fail. So they give it to him, the, the flight uh, goes off, and then he tells all the stewardesses and stuff like that to go to the front of the plane and lock the door. They lock the door, and and they leave the, the open the, and, they do, and then he tells them to open the back door to the flight where like they would get off. So they do that. He gets off the plane. The plane goes off. They and then the plane lands. And when they open the door, he's not there. And there's a big investigation into it, and they could only find two uh, dollar notes. That uh, two dollar notes of the original sixty million pound he found, and they never found his body or any evidence that he died. And uh, to this day, they have not been able to find DB Cooper. So that was a, a documentary on DB Cooper. Thank you for watching. Dog. Hi, I'm Brendan Dockin. This is my documentary. Today I'll be talking about D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper was an, a passenger who boarded a plane in 1970. He wore a black tuxedo-like blazer and a black tie with black sunglasses. Upon getting on the plane, he ordered a drink, but when the plane decided to go off, he gave the stewardess a note. On the note, it said that he had a bomb on the plane, and if he didn't get £60 million pounds and two parachutes, that he would blow up the plane. Police and, the lo and police and local people in the area scrambled to get two parachutes and 60 million pounds. It took them about two hours. Upon landing, they gave the stewardess 60 million pounds and two, two parachutes, one of them being rigged to fail. Then they, and then the stewardess gave it to D.B. Cooper. Then, then D.B. Cooper told the stewardess to get to the front of the plane and lock the door. She obliged and the flight pattern went on as normal. During the flight, they heard a bumping sound and once they landed, they found that D.B. Cooper was no longer in the plane. It was thought that he jumped out of the plane with the money and parachuted down. To this day, no, the money or, or D.B. Cooper has not been found and it's one of, uh, one of the biggest mysteries in America at the moment. Thank you for watching this documentary on D.B. Cooper. Hi, my name is Brendan McLaughlin, and in this documentary I'll be exploring D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper was the name of a man who boarded a, po a plane set for Portland. He got on the plane, he ordered a uh, Coke, and he was wearing a black suit with a black tie. During the flight, during the flight passage of the plane, he handed the stewardess a note. On the note, the stewardess read, it, it, it revealed that D.B. Cooper had a, had a bomb on the plane, and if he did not get $60 million by... Sixty million dollars and two parachutes. He would blow up the plane. So basically, what happened was that the local air, local area, and the police all coordinated together to get sixty million pounds and two parachutes to DB Cooper. He got on the plane. He they they landed. The plane landed after about two hours. The sh they, the stewardess brought him the money and the, the two parachutes. Then DB Cooper calmly asked them all to go to the front of the plane, where they locked the door. During the flight, they heard a bumping sound and thought that GB, B, um, DB Cooper jumped from the plane. When the plane landed, they got, at, they got out of the plane, they looked around, they found the back door was open, and DB Cooper wasn't there. An investigation was done to find DB Cooper, and all that was found was two $20 notes. It was thought that DB Cooper jumped from the plane and either died or made his way to Canada. Here's the interesting thing about it was that the money could be traced, and they never found the money, D.B. Cooper or the two parachutes. To this day, it's one of the biggest American mysteries. Thank you for watching this documentary on D.B. Cooper. <laughs>